in my last video. So I stopped at the Army Corps of Engineers on the Texas side of this bridge. On the other side, it's Oklahoma. And um, this is Jupiter, I think it's called Jupiter West, Army Corps of Engineers, Jupiter West. And it's on 377. There's two sides. I'm east and west, I'm guessing. You have to go to the other one to actually pay. Or you could do it in the drop box. So, um, yeah, it's Jupiter Point West. This is a really great campsite, campground, for Army Corps of Engineers. Because you could be right on the water in your campsites. Really, really nice. And this is on 377, right at the border of Texas, before you go over the bridge into Oklahoma that they're doing construction in. It's not a bad bridge. And then, right here, you'll see it says, Welcome to Texas. On the other side of the street is Jupiter Point East which is also a great campground. So either one, whether you're going east or west, you can get a good spot. Everybody, it's Halloween, and guess what? She made me wear this thing again. Well, you should have seen the other one she bought. It was a tiger with a tail. So glad I got this one from my friend's gypsy pair. Yeah, I'd rather be buzzing around like a bee. Okay. So, yeah, I even sing a song for you. I made my own little short. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat, lots of treats, happy Halloween everybody, have a great day, get lots of candy, save some for me, hey don't forget those doggy treats. So we're back on the road, let's go, come along with us, see where we're going to land now. Guess where I am? Hey. <laughs> yep, meeting up with Kevin and Felix and the wolf pack and... Oh, uh -oh. give it a little privacy. Really, really, Foxy. Foxy. Hey, I'm feeling the oh. Danny does that too. But she's in the house right now, so she needs to relax because she's stressed out. Undisclosed, undisclosed location. Yeah. I'm in a secret undisclosed location. Oh my gosh. Isn't that pretty? Look at it. Oh my gosh. Look at it over here.
Good morning, YouTubers and RV Rebel Watchers. I am in one of my happy places and with some people that make me happy and I enjoy spending time with. I um, arrived yesterday, got to sit and spend some time with my friends, cleaning myself up, and I'm having coffee in my happy camper coffee. Living the good life. That's right, I am. That's right, living the good life. I surely am. There's my friend, camper van Kevin and Felix. Um, we had a nice time sitting around talking last night and relaxing. Danny's inside eating her egg. Got my solar out. And here I am. I am in Arizona. And this is my view this morning. The beautiful mountain. Hi everybody. So I decided while well, I'm camped here in Quartzsite with Camper Van Kevin and Felix and the Wolf Pack and Foxy Lady and Danny. Um, I feels great. I took my shower, washed my hair, and I'm ready to. It's sunny and beautiful out, but I really have a taste for bread. And I decided that since I have the time here while I'm camped, <clears throat> I would go ahead and make me some a double batch of my make me a double batch of keto bread since I only made half a batch last time. So, but I'm going to make some deviations to my recipe here. I'm adding, uh, I'm adding cinnamon. No, I'm not. I'm adding brown sugar swerve instead of just the regular, um, you know, monk fruit, you know, non sugar, non sugar monk fruit sweetener. And um, so I added five tablespoons of the brown sugar swerve, which is, you know, keto friendly. And I added just one tablespoon of the monk fruit. And I doubled my batch with it. So it's a, it's a cup of coconut flour. And I'm going to be using a cup of shortening. Now, instead of using the oil olive oil or almond oil or avocado oil which i did buy avocado oil like i did last i used oil last time i used virgin olive oil last time i'm going to use butter i love butter and the recipe says i could use butter so i'm going to go ahead and do that so i if you look at my old video which i'll link to it it has the recipe for the um half the recipe I'm going to now do the full recipe and double those measurements, okay? I'm going to go ahead and melt my butter and pour it in. I also used a um, tablespoon of vanilla extract, which I bring home from Mexico. I used the baking soda, salt, and I'm going to also use some cinnamon, cinnamon and cinnamon. Yep, and I, don't forget, I gotta still have to add my eggs. I'll be right back after I mix this up and then we'll add the eggs. Okay, RV Rebel Watchers and YouTubers, I have also added the cinnamon. The half recipe that I made in, previous, in the previous video was calling for a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And since I'm making the full batch, I am going to put three quarters I know it should be a whole tablespoon, but I'm only putting three quarters. Not everybody likes cinnamon, and you don't want to be overwhelming. But with cinnamon, it depends on how much you like it. So I'm going to put three quarters of the cinnamon, the tablespoon, into the mixture. And then also another three quarters, or even a whole tablespoon of cinnamon, I will save to put on the top of my bread like I did last time. Now, if you're just trying to eat healthy and you're not necessarily trying to lose weight, you know, and you're not worried about your carbs as much, but you just want to eat healthy food and non-gluten, you, you know, you may want to add some nuts in here. You can add almonds or whatever you choose, you know, to add in here um, and make it crunchy whatever but i'm not going to add the almonds even though i love almonds 
and I bet it would taste great with some slivered almonds in this bread. Uh, but maybe for another time when I've totally reached my goal weight and I'm almost there and um, I notice it in my clothes. My clothes are really, really have, you know, gotten a little bit baggier. So I'm not worried about zipping that zipper and having my buttons pop open, you know. So, in fact, I put a pair on today and they are actually, um, let me show you really pleased about that okay so the butter's in there everything's in there but the eggs now back when i talked to you about this recipe the first time i made it i mentioned that if you don't want your bread to taste really eggy not to use the full amount of eggs which is what i did instead of using seven eggs i used five eggs that was five eggs for a half a cup of almond flour now i mean i'm sorry for a half a cup of coconut flour i'm using coconut flour not almond flour so coconut flour you usually have to use a lot more eggs or more eggs in there also it called to use that um that gum stuff let me see this gum okay it used it caught the recipe called for like I think a half a teaspoon of this or a, a quarter of a teaspoon of this and it holds it together better um, it has zero carbohydrates in it none whatsoever see no sugar no nothing it has really like no value or of anything it gives strength and elasticity to your gluten-free flour. You can also use it as a thickener, which I'm gonna try that as a thickener when I next time I make my pumpkin pie. You know, the keto one I made the other day. Keep it to thicken up that pumpkin filling. Which I'm gonna make it again before Thanksgiving. Yep, I am. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that in here. I did not use it last time, so I think I'm gonna use like a half a teaspoon in here today. Yep, it's in there, and I'm just mix it up and hope it holds it together. And then now it's time for the eggs. Yep, I used 10 eggs. I know, that's a lot of eggs, but that's what the recipe called for. And actually, if you double the recipe, it would call for 14 eggs. That's a lot of eggs, but, you know, the incredible edible egg, I guess they say, so here we go. I only used 10 eggs instead of 14 because I used five eggs last time and it turned out really good. Hopefully it'll be that way again because I doubled the recipe. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up and get it ready for the pan. Rebel watchers and YouTubers, I have used spray oil, you know, like just spray stuff. I use I think this is from Walmart. I'm not sure. I use this one. It's probably called, it's olive oil by Carlini. I use that to grease the parchment paper. Put the parchment paper, which is great. I keep in my little Dutch oven cast iron pan, nice and clean. And, um, and then I'm going to, this is a two quart. I'm using the two quart this time, not the one quart. And I'm going to go ahead and cover up my batter and my coals are already getting ready. They're heating up out there. I'll show you. The coals are getting heated and I'm going to go put my, I'm going to use my sand, my stand sideways instead of straight up and down, which makes it too high and too far away from the coals. And this particular cast iron pan from Lodge does not have feet on it. This two quart does not have feet on it, but I did manage to find a lid that has the rim around it so that I could put the coals on top and not worry about them falling off. So um, we like the bottom of our bread brown, but we don't want it burnt, right? Okie doke, here we go. Okay, got the coals underneath, got coals on the side. I'm going to go get my metal tongs to put the coals on top of the pot for cooking. In quartzite. 
taken a little bit longer than I expected because it is a double batch. So after 45 minutes, I would suggest you, you check it. It's probably going to be an, for me, it was an extra, it's going to be probably an extra half an hour, but it could have been because of my coals. I had some problems with my coals really heating up real well. You know, and then I have reserve coals on the side, so I had to put more coals on the top. So you have to play that by ear yourself as a cook and watch your bread. So I'm just waiting for the fin the middle to finish and the top, and it looks, I can already start to smell it. And last time I could smell it, it smelled so good. Now, Danny, go over there and play with the girls and the boys. Go on. Is it a fail or is it a success? It tastes like sweet cornbread. Really? But it tastes good? Best I can tell. Okay. Oh, yeah, you said you didn't have all your taste back. Is that okay to put on Facebook? Mm -hmm. this? Okay. Good. Okay, so Thank I'm. You. Oh, you're welcome. Felix, you want to taste my bread? Yes, ma'am. In the Dutch oven. Right there. Cinnamon brown sugar coconut flour so it's gluten free no real sugar it's keto friendly but it may be a little bit more than the carbs that you want to have on keto but it's still healthy bread you know it doesn't have gluten and all the other stuff in it now felix has to try it that doesn't have to but he's going to it's keto bread Bad. You adopt me. Is it good? Would you adopt me? Would I adopt you? This, I'll, sign, I'll sign the paper. He said, uh, Kevin said it, sound, it tasted like cornbread, but it's actually made with coconut flour. Tastes good. You like it? Tastes like, um, tastes like pudding cake. Oh, yum. It's cinnamon brown sugar. And not real <laughs> sugar. It's, you know, keto uh, swerve sugar. Oh, wow. Monk and monk fruit, so it's not you know, and it's coconut flour, and eggs. A lot of eggs. It's good. Good. Now I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah. Cause I don't want to be brag about my own. You guys can't have any. Sorry. You can brag. Okay, it's my turn. Thank you, Mel. You're welcome. It's really good. Yum yum. It does taste like a pudding inside. It's pretty moist, moister than the last one I made. Well, we ended up the day with having a visitor come. The Dan Van came to visit us here at Kevin's camp, Camper Van Kevin and the Wolf Pack. And we sat around, oh, look at that, sweetie. Those puppies, they're just loving all the attention. Danny's loving hanging out with the Wolf Pack. But yeah, we sat around and relaxed. Uh, Felix went for a ride on his bike, but then came back and joined us. Yep, the dogs enjoyed each other's company. Tucker, your eyes glow in the... I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my eyes. I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even the sky is falling down 